Welcome to the tutorial on fire and smoke control. Fire control system. In the previous section, we learned how to control smoke in critical areas and the details of the smoke management system. The movement of smoke is the most important thing to consider during the fire. In this section, I wish to present some important details additionally related to fire and smoke control and its procedures. First of all, I think it would be well to describe the details of fire extinguishers that commonly used to extinguish a fire. Let us know about fire extinguishers in detail. When a small fire occurs in a building, we think about using a fire extinguisher to fix it. But if it is too large, we cannot fix it with a standard fire extinguisher. In these circumstances, we have to seek the help of the fire fighting team. We will learn this in detail after knowing about the use and types of fire extinguishers. Typically, a fire extinguisher consists of a handheld cylindrical pressure vessel containing an agent that can be discharged to extinguish a small fire. A fire extinguisher is an active protection device to extinguish or control a small fire in an emergency. Fire extinguishers are available in different categories types depends upon the requirement. Type of fire extinguishers and their use. Fire extinguisher contains water. Used in wood, paper, and textiles etc. and do not use on fires of flammable liquid and live electrical equipment. Fire extinguisher contains dry powder. Used in wood, paper, textiles, flammable liquid and live electrical equipment. Fire extinguisher contains foam. Fire happens in wood, paper, textiles, and flammable liquid. Not to use on fires of live electrical equipment. Fire extinguisher contains CO2. Use on the fire of flammable liquid and live electrical equipment. Do not use flammable metal fires, wood, paper, and textiles. Fire extinguisher contains the wet chemical. Use of fire happens in cooking oil, wood, paper, and textiles etc. Keep using a 1 meter distance from the fire and discharge completely as this is chemical. ABC type fire extinguisher. ABC fire extinguisher is a single device that can be used as a replacement for different types of fire extinguishers. So, these devices are keeping in most areas of the building. ABC fire extinguisher usually uses a combination of monoammonium phosphate and ammonium sulfate. It is often colloquially simplified as ABC dry chemical or multi-purpose dry chemical. These types of extinguishers are extremely effective in putting out the fire as the powder works to interrupt the chemical reaction of the fire.
CBC fire extinguisher is used to put out the fire by coating the fuel with a thin layer of dry chemical as dust for separating the fuel. Details of Class A, B and C Class A Fire caused by common combustible materials such as wood, plastic, paper, cloth, and rubber. Class B Fire caused by combustible liquids and gases. Class C Fires caused by energized electrical sources. Using a fire extinguisher safely is very important because when the fire happens people will be panic and may they will throw the cylinder to the fire also. So in every premise, the fire brigade or authorized fireman has to provide necessary training to the people. The method of using the fire extinguisher is commonly known with a single word pass. pin fixed in the handle. A. Aim at the base of the fire. S. Squeeze the lever of the cylinder. S. Sweep from side to side. Smoke control system, explained. Smoke control system and smoke management system are seems to be same but in functional it has some differences. Smoke control system manages the medium of smoke in order to increase egress time so that occupants can escape safely. Smoke management systems are used during fire events and post-fire events to remove smoke from a facility and slash or restrict smoke from entering specific areas of a facility during general evacuation. In the first part, we learn about smoke management system in general and now we will go through the details of smoke control system. Smoke management system and smoke control system are developed under the standards of NFPA. The National Fire Protection Association is an international non-profit organization devoted to eliminating death, injury, property, and economic loss due to fire, electrical and related hazards. Fire and smoke control system under NFPA standard is designed to effectively manage the fire and smoke in the building during serious situations. Special Situation Management Hotels, public buildings, apartments, and office complexes have a system called Special Situation Management SSM under the supervision of the head of the institution. The SSM team manages the fire conditions in the building effectively. SSM was created to deal with a number of critical situations, including fire. These details provided is just for awareness and not included in this tutorial as it is not related to our subject. A smoke control system can be defined as an electromechanical engineering system that uses mechanical fans and dampers in cooperation with electronic monitoring and controls. The system produces pressure differences across smoke barriers that inhibit or facilitate smoke movement. The smoke control system is used to achieve one or more of the following design objectives. 
inhibit smoke from entering stairwells, means of egress, elevator shafts, and protect the evacuate routes and areas. Maintain the safest environment in areas where refuge and safe exit during the minimum required evacuation time. Inhibit the migration of smoke from the smoke activated zone. Provide safe conditions outside the fire zone that enable emergency response personnel to conduct search and rescue operations. End of tutorial part 2. Smoke control system continues to part 3. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Subscribe to the channel to get updates and more videos.